chapter 6. 1. And it came to pass that as Jesus taught his disciples, he said unto them, Teach this people, saying, Take heed that ye do not your arms before men, to be seen of them, and receive the honour and praise of the world. Otherwise ye have no need for a reward of your Father which is in heaven, which ye shall give unto you, not as the honours of men are given, but by the peace of his Spirit. 2. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward, for it is given them of men from whom they desire it. 3. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth. For if thou givest of unrighteousness, by that which thou doest with thy left hand, to receive the glory of men, then thy righteous act, which thou doest of thy right, shall not be acceptable as a righteous offering to thy father. For thou dost not do this thing for the benefit of another, as thou would want another to do so to thee. But thou doest this to be seen, and rewarded openly by men. For Therefore, so that thine arms may be in secret, and for the benefit of he who receiveth of thy arms, let not thy left arm of unrighteousness influence the secret work of thy right arm. And thy father who seeth in secret, himself shall reward thee openly. 5. And when thou prayest, be thou not as the hypocrites are when they pray out aloud to be heard of another. For they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have the reward that they seek. 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into the closet of thy heart, where others cannot hear thee. And when thou hast shut thine own door to be alone in the Spirit, pray to thy Father who seeth in secret. And thy father who seeth in secret shall reward thee openly through the ministrations of the Spirit. 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathen do in sackcloth and ashes upon the ground. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. And they ask according to their wants and their needs, demanding of the Father that which they should not. 8. Be not ye therefore like unto them who ask according to their needs and wants. For your Father knoweth what things ye have need of, before ye ask him. And if ye ask for that which is not the will of the Father, then ye ask amiss, and shall not receive as the Father would give unto you according to his own will. Ye therefore fight the will of God, and grieve the Spirit. 9. After this manner therefore pray ye always that ye be not led into temptation. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 10. Bless us that we may know and do thy works, that thy kingdom may come among us, and that thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. 11. We ask thee only to give us this day our daily bread, that we may have the strength to do thy works. 12. And forgive us our trespasses against thy will, only as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. 13. And suffer us not to be led into temptation, but deliver us from the evil of this world and the works that we do therein, and help us always to do thy will, and keep thy commandments, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever. Amen. 14. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you by giving you the fruits that ye deserve of the Spirit. 15. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither can your Father forgive your trespasses. 16. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites, who pretend to be of a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces so that it may appear that they sacrifice much of the flesh.
that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. 17. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head in remembrance of the commandments of the Father, and keep them, that thou might keep thyself unspotted from the world, and wash thy face, and be of a happy countenance, that thou appear not unto men to fast. 18. But unto thy Father, who seeth in secret, thou shalt present thyself unspotted, and clean from the sins of this world, and thy Father, who seeth in secret, shall reward thee openly for the works which thou hast done. 19. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon this earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal the treasures of your hearts, which are the desires that ye have. 20. But lay up for yourselves these treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. 21. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. 22. But that which bringeth forth light into the body is the eye. If therefore thine eye be single to the glory of God, thy whole body shall be full of light. For that light which ye shall see is given of the Father. And how great is that light! 23. But if thine eye be evil, then it shall be shut up against the light, and thy whole body shall be full of darkness. If therefore thou hast shut thine eyes to the light, then that which is in thee is darkness. And how great is that darkness! 24. And it came to pass that Jesus spoke to his disciples, of that which would be required of them when they went forth to teach the people his gospel. And he spoke, saying, Behold, it is impossible for a man to serve two masters, and be equally loyal to each, for either he will hate the one more than the other, or else he will hold fast to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. 25. And... Again, I say unto you, Go ye into the world, and care not for the world, for the world will hate you, and will persecute you as it does me, and will turn you out of their synagogues. Nevertheless, ye shall go forth from house to house, teaching the people, and I will go before you, and your heavenly Father will provide for you whatsoever things ye need for food, what ye shall eat, and for raiment, what ye shall wear or put on. Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, or what ye shall drink, nor yet for your body, what ye shall put on. Is not the life that I have offered unto you of the Spirit more than the meat that ye eat to sustain your life and the body? Is it more than raiment for your spirit? If the Father hath given you your spirit and feedeth it, shall he not also provide for its raiment? 26. Behold the fowls of the air, which were also created by your father. For they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly father feedeth them. Are ye who are in his service not much better than they? 27. Which of you, by taking thought of himself, can add one cubit unto his own stature? Yet your father can add that which he desireth to your body, which houses the spirit he loveth, and hath created in his own image. 28. And I have said that this body is only raiment for this spirit. Therefore, why take ye thought for raiment? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin to provide raiment for their body. 29. And yet I say unto you, that even Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed by the Father like one of these. But Solomon was arrayed in raiment of his own hand, choosing to cover his body as the grass covereth the field, and stroketh the lilies arrayed in the glory of God. 30. Wherefore, if God so clothe the lilies, and suffereth that the grass of the field covereth them, 
and that same grass which today is, tomorrow shall be cast into the oven. How much more will he provide for you, if ye are not of little faith, and keep your eyes single to the glory of God? 31. Therefore take no thought, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or wherewithal shall we be clothed? 32. For after all these things do the Gentiles seek that they might live without God. For your heavenly Father knoweth that ye have need of all these things. 33. Therefore seek not the things of this world, but seek ye first to build up the kingdom of God, and to establish his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. 34. Take therefore no thought for the morrow, and that which shall come to pass. For the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Therefore, teach this people that they should fast, and pray always as I have commanded you, that ye be not led into the temptations and evil of the day. End of chapter 6.